This month we're going to work with double underhooks, leverage, takedown control, and positioning. I'm going to have Josh Neal working with our champ, 170 pound champion uh, Jeremiah Metcalf, and uh, Anthony Rubacaba will be explaining the techniques to you. Yeah. Sure. All right, guys, what we're gonna do here is uh, Jeremiah is gonna show you how to work the underhooks to secure a takedown and control your opponent in the fight. All right, Jeremiah's gonna engage his opponent. Likes to control the head right there, whatever you gotta do. And then, bam, he shoots in his underhooks right there. Notice how Jeremiah's shoulders are beneath Josh's shoulders right here, and he's got a slight edge on his opponent right here by getting the uh, lower and more dominant position. And notice also the lock behind that Jeremiah is going to get right here to control the back. Um, he's not only just locking his hands for the dominant uh, takedown right here, he's going to clinch his elbows together to control control the takedown as he goes for it. All right, after Jeremiah secures his lock right here, he's going to go with a knee block to the takedown. Now let's watch that knee right there, bam. Take down right there to the side mount. Okay guys, I'm going to show you step by step how to initiate the clinch here. Right here I'm going to lock uh, best wrestler's grip there is, four over four right here, over the thumb, over this hands, you got four holding, four holding right there, best grip there is, all right. I'm gonna drop change elevations, you know, fold up, squeezing my elbows tight, coming around for the knee block, and not only am I just gonna sweep with the knee, I'm also gonna take, take my clinch in with my elbows right here, so as I'm sweeping the knee, I'm gonna use my elbows to also help me move his body to the mat for side control. All right, Jeremiah is engaging the same move that we just went over, double underhooks, but this time he has his opponent against the cage. And what he's gonna do is definitely lock up the clinch and bring it down to the weak part of the spine, put him against the cage, and he, Josh has nowhere to go right here. Jeremiah's got him pinned right where he wants him right here, so all he's gonna do is just sweep the knee just like we did in the middle, and put him right up against that cage. Okay, one other detail we wanna show you here is in the clinches. See how our stances are, we have our lead leg forwards and we have our back leg, so not too far behind, shoulder space apart, so we could keep our balance the whole time right here. So when we're pummeling right here, you know, we're, we're in knee, knee position right here, battling for, you know, who's gonna go and get the upper hand right here. And when we switch to the side, bam. Notice how our legs come back and we go right into the same position on the other side, but you know, with our lead legs and forwards and keeping our balance with our back leg also. All right, now we're gonna break down this move slow motion. Let Jeremiah Metcalf, the champ, show you how it's done slow mo, step by step. Go time. All right, Jeremiah is gonna get in a pummeling position with Josh right now to engage the double underhooks. As he slides both underhooks in, he's gonna go for his body lock position right here. And as he starts to body lock, he, notice how he's gonna change his elevation right here and go for the small of the back just to get a upper hand on Josh right here. All right, now uh, Jeremiah is gonna take his knee and put it on the outside of Josh's knee and see how he kind of blocks the, the back of his uh, knee in a sweeping type motion as he goes for the takedown. And he uh, lands perfectly right on side mount position right here, ready to do some damage for ground and pound. And he is uh, securing the side mount position and he's gonna go for the knee slide to the mount. All right guys, don't forget, when you're working those double underhooks, it's all about control. It's all about imposing your will on your opponent in the cage. So thanks for uh, enjoying this move of the month from us and we'll have one coming at you next month, ready to go.